this presentation showing in vivo in action, I just want to um, really emphasize that with using in vivo with AI Assistant, that the AI part is meant to help you explore your data, help you reflect on your data, but you are the human doing the analysis. So the, the AI does not take that away from you. It basically just enhances helping you with your analysis. And um, whenever I show in vivo, I always like to talk about all the different types of data that you can import into in vivo. So you can import um, Word documents, PDFs, video, audio, images, social media, um, spreadsheets, surveys. So we have integration with Qualtrics and SurveyMonkey. Um, we also have integrations with reference management softwares like Citavi, uh, Lumavero's reference management and writing software. Also, statistical software like Excel Stat and At Risk, also two other Lumavero products. So, pretty much any type of data you're collecting, you can pretty much bring into in vivo. So, for um, today's presentation, I want to take you through how you can use in vivo 15 to support your whole research process. So, taking you from using it from your lit review through to publishing. Um, so in vivo, this is how in vivo helps you through all these stages of the research process. And then this is the AI part that's just going to enhance those processes. Um, and then you have um, across the whole process, you have real time collaboration. So if you have a research team, you can use in vivo collaboration cloud or server to all of you be in the same uh, in vivo project to um, to collaborate together. All right, with that, I'm going now go to in vivo. So since we have a mix of uh, people that have used in vivo and some who have not, I just want to go over um, the interface and take you on a little tour. So I'm in in vivo 15. This is the beta. And um, with in vivo, you have a blue navigation panel. And so it's broken up into three parts. So you have the import section, which helps you organize or import um, all your different data uh, that you're going to use for your project. So for this project, this is the sample project that comes with in vivo. And this was um, real data conducted at Duke University. They were looking at environmental changes in coastal communities in North Carolina. So that's the type of data you'll be seeing. So I've already, or in this project, they've already imported, um, here they have images they've imported, they've been, um, imported interviews, news articles. Uh, we have our um, reference articles from our lit review from importing uh, a Satavi project into in vivo, social media and survey data. Now to import into in vivo, it's very easy. You just go to the import tab. This is one way and you can import your files, your surveys um, with either Excel sheet or Qualtrics or SurveyMonkey. You can import your Satavi project from here, uh, other bibliographical software, and then you know notes or emails too. Um, and then the next section um, is all about organizing your coding. So you can see they've already started um, they're, they're coding here, they have um, broad codes and then subcodes underneath it, so you have a hierarchy. Um, you can also organize your participants. So under cases, so cases are basically are your units of analysis. So who or what are you studying? So in this case, they interviewed people in different communities. You can add all the content you have for a participant into this case. So, you know, we interviewed Barbara twice. So we have both interviews here, for example. And then case classifications are a way for you to assign attributes to your cases or demographic information. So I can add, you know, age group, um, educational level, what community Barbara's from. And this becomes important when I show you some queries later, because now I can look across all my coding to see, you know, what did a certain age group um, say or have information in this code in regards to a topic or category. So this is one of the most powerful things um, with using in vivo. And then um, <clears throat> you also have under organize your memos, which help you reflect on your research process or your coding. And then um, the third section here is all about exploring your data. So your queries 
And we also have um, some visuals with maps and charts here. So I'll be showing、um, all you all of you this. 您的直觉，我们的软体。买正版软体找齐全企业有限公司，同一编号二八七九三九六七。所有产品皆享咨询、支援及保固，并可开立二联式或三联式发票。Cheer Chain Enterprise distributes and sells software with the aim of offering clients guidance when choosing software as well as technical support.